because I just can't believe it's done. <laughs> At the end of the day, all I want to say is thank you, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Morning and welcome back to the last day. Oh, is it exciting, ready? <gasps> oh, oh no. I shouldn't have got you so excited. You can go back. Sorry, Freddy. So I come at you with the very exciting news this morning that I have finished Angus Long's and Full Frontal Snogging, which fulfills the prompt for read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. And that means I have fulfilled all seven prompts. Hey. <laughs> Success! I'm so happy that I've done it. I feel so relieved. The aim of the game today is to read two more books so that I've fulfilled each prompt with one book so that I've read seven books. And I think we can do it. But in terms of Angus Songs and Full Frontal Snogging, I don't have much more to say than what I've already said in the other vlogs because it was just kind of like, it was fine. I'm gonna give it three stars. It feels like... Two, two stars would be too harsh. Like it was good, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't incredible and it is a bit problematic. Like not problematic, but it just hasn't aged well. Like she is 14 and he's almost 18 and you're kind of like, You see the problem. I didn't see Lindsay as a villain in this because Lindsay is like 18 and she's speaking to this 14 year old going like, stop trying to get on my boyfriend, you're a child. And you're just like, no, no. <laughs> But it was such an easy, quick read that it was perfect for the readathon, and it did give me that nostalgia. It made me feel like I was 13 again, 14 again in secondary school, and it just reminded me of all the stuff you get up to in secondary school, and it made me kind of miss it. I do miss secondary school a little bit. Now, what I want to do is I've got about 200 pages left of The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This is to re-fulfill the prompt for a book beginning with the word the. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read to part three, which is about 90 pages. And then I think I'll read a graphic novel in between and then I'll finish on this. I feel, guys, you don't know how fucking relieved I am that I don't have to edit tonight. <laughs> I could play some Sims. I could watch High School Musical. Like, the opportunities are endless. This is a story about a girl named Lucky. <laughs> I don't have to edit. I don't have to edit. Oh my god, I <laughs> I lost myself a little bit the past two days. I'm back today, like I'm back. I'm me again, you know? We're back, boys. I'm gonna have some lunch and I'm gonna go sit outside and read this. I'm very excited to see where this goes. just hit part three which is page 327 so I've only got like the ending ending left like 110 pages 120 pages left we are slowly beginning to see just how sinister the house got Libby's storyline is becoming more and more and more interesting and the storylines are starting to merge it's just slowly becoming more and more tense and claustrophobic and overwhelming and fucked up like you read a line and it's said so like without any emotion and you're like, oh, that's fucked up. But what I'm gonna do now, I think as a break is I'm gonna read another graphic novel. I actually think it's kind of classed as a comic for the prompt, read a book of a genre that you, you wanna read more of. Cause I read Bloom for this, but that Bloom was also for read a book entirely outside. And so I'm just reading like another graphic novel. So I have chosen, I asked on Twitter for graphic novel recommendations that are on Scribd. Cause I didn't know. Scribd is like an audiobook service, but it also has eBooks. And apparently there's loads of graphic novels on there. I can't believe I wake up every morning. I'm like, oh my God, I can read just loads and loads of graphic novels on script. So that's what I'm planning to do. So I have chosen the one Giant Days. I'll show you the cover. That's what the cover looks like. And this is about friends who have just started university. Oh my God, is there 60 volumes of this? <laughs> of this comic book. I don't know, but I'm gonna read the first one now. Hopefully it won't take me too long. I think it should probably take me like half an hour. And Aaron from Booked and Busy is just about to hold the first Twitter sprint of the day for the reading rush. And I'm so excited that the first Twitter sprint that I'm taking part in is with someone that I watch. Cause not, I don't watch or read or 
go on, you know, follow the Instagrams of every single person who's done a sprint. So I'm really glad that the one I'm taking part in will be someone that I watch regularly. I'll make sure I link Erin's channel down below. You should definitely check her out. I'm very excited. I'm gonna start Giant Days now and we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> I just finished Giant Days Volume 1 and I really enjoyed it. So this re-fulfilled for the second time the prompt of read a book in a genre you want to read more of. It was just kind of like a slice of life look at these characters starting university. And I thought it was going to be like an American university, but it was actually UK. And I really liked that because it just felt like being back in Leeds. <laughs> okay, this is going to sound really sad, but like... I don't have a friendship group at uni and <laughs> being able to see these characters be friends and be so close to one another in such a short space of time was lovely to see. It was a really nice kind of relationship that the three of them had together. So there's Susan, Esther and Daisy and each of them is very unique and very different from one another. One of them is kind of like nerdy, the other is the hot girl, and then the third is kind of like the serious. I would kind of say mum friend of the group. I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5. Yeah, it was just fun. I don't have anything else to say. The fact that I've had to do the reading rush on the week that I'm on my period, when my face gets so bloated on my period is honestly a fucking scam. Like I could have looked so much better in all my thumbnails if I wasn't on my period. All I have left to do today is finish the family upstairs. I could actually cry. I could actually cry with how relieved I am that that's all I have to do. I've sat here for like 20 minutes not filming this because I just can't believe it's done. <laughs> At the end of the day, all I want to say is thank you, Lady Gaga. <laughs> I finished The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I'm going to give this three stars. I... The ending was just pointless. Like, I don't really understand why this exists. <laughs> there wasn't anything necessarily thrilling about it. It was just kind of stupid. Like, it was boring. It was boring. There was nothing completely wrong with it. It was just like, so meh. So just like, average. And the ending was just like, well then why have we done all this? It was just like, the most boring ending and what you think all along i don't feel like there was much that was then revealed and then like disproven or something you know i feel like we kind of knew what was happening all along when i was reading it when i was kind of like two thirds and i was like really intrigued and it was just it was just it was just <laughs> it wasn't bad but it wasn't good and then the ending like the last page i was like oh girl don't do this to us don't do this to us like that did not need to happen did not need to happen don't leave me with that don't leave me with that and okay this is a okay this is a slight spoiler so like if you care i'll put something i'll put spoiler in capital letters or a picture or something up on the screen so you know but the whole time lucy is saying oh, that's not my real name of course lucy isn't my real name no one knows that lucy isn't my real name and then lucy is her real name i'm so confused like what the fuck did you just like did she just get confused at least a jewel like forget that she changed a storyline somewhere. Like if someone else has read this and can, can explain it to me, I would like to know. We read seven books in seven days. I can't believe it. Seven books in seven days. I don't think I've ever done that before in my life. Page count. I just worked it out. Drum roll please. I read 2008 pages. I'm so happy that I read over 2000. Like when I was working out just now, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's not gonna be quite 2000. Like we're just gonna miss out on 2000. And when I saw it was 2008, whew, I was so relieved. I read The Last by Hannah Jameson and I gave this four stars. I read Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganusho and I gave this four stars. I read A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow and I gave that three stars. I read My Sister the Serial Killer by Odin Can Braithwaite and I gave this four stars. I read Anger Songs and Full Front of Snogging by Louise Renison and I gave that three stars. I read Giant Days by John Allison and I gave that 
four stars, I think I said. I don't really know. It's like a 3.75 probably. And then I read The Family Upstairs. So it was all three and four stars. I do wish I could have had a five star in there somewhere. Like it's, it's kind of sad. I didn't have a five star read. The closest was probably the last, but the ending to this was fucking weird. But I loved the vibes of this. It's everything I love in like a closed circle, isolated mystery. The ending just let this down. I feel like I've learned a lot in the process of doing this of like what I'm capable of and like stuff like taking photos for bookstagram. Like I've never really been into that and I'm really proud of a lot of the pictures that I've taken. And thank you all for sticking along and watching all the vlogs. It's been so much fun chatting to you every single day. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it so much. I've had the best time and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!